Good afternoon, everyone, and welcome to our Leap for Word Getting Started webinar. My name is Janet Gavea, and I am the Client Success Manager here at Leap Canada. To those who have attended our previous webinars, welcome back. These webinars are produced by the Client Success Team at Leap and aim to improve the way small law firms implement Leap's features. Our team's priority is our customers and, well, their success. We work together with other Leap teams to build new content for Leap Community. We listen to and share your feedback to help improve our program's features. And we connect our firms to Leap's help desk as needed to ensure your experience with Leap is a positive one. With each training session and every webinar hosted by our team, we gain a better understanding of the challenges law firms face running their business and see firsthand the importance of optimizing their workflows and practice management software. In this webinar, I will be collaborating with my colleague, Jennifer Lee, who is a legal research specialist at Leap. Jennifer will discuss her role at Leap and explain why Leap for Word is such an important feature in our solution and how it can save your firm time and increase efficiency. We are excited to show you the new and improved Leap for Word automation technology. I will be demonstrating three forms that will show how Leap enhances the speed and efficiency of creating and updating these complex forms. Today we will answer, what is Leap for Word? And how can it help small law firms? We will also demonstrate how to enable the Leap for Word add-in and show you three of the forms using the Leap for Word function. At the end of our webinar, we will have a question and answer session. A few housekeeping items before we begin. Today's webinar will run for approximately 30 minutes in listen-only mode. Please feel free to type in any questions in our question feature, and after the demonstration, we will share and respond to the questions submitted by our live audience. Our webinar follow-up will include an article and links to our Leap Community Portal, so be sure to check it out. If you require any advanced or one-on-one -on -one training, please contact me at janet.gavea at leaplegalsoftware.ca. We're here to help you. So let's begin. I'd like to introduce you to Jennifer Lee, a legal research specialist and member of our content forum team here at Leap Canada. Welcome, Jennifer, and thanks for joining us. Hi, Janet. Thanks for inviting me to join today. Leap forms are managed by the Leap Design and Automation Team, aka the Content Team. As a member of the Content Team, legal research specialists have real-life field experience with law firms. Our current legal research specialists, including myself, are lawyers that have practiced in various areas of law and are familiar with the process of drafting forms and documents for a legal practice. Our role at LEAP is to research the legal processes and required forms and documents necessary for a matter type and assist our development and forms teams to design automated templates and forms that will maximize efficiency for your practice. LEAP invests more than $20 million every year globally to research and development so that our clients have the best possible experience. Currently, Leap Canada clients in Ontario have the convenience of accessing more than 700 plus forms and precedent documents accessible inside our exclusive library. Our dedicated team of content specialists ensure that forms are always up to date, helping you stay compliant. In this way, Leaf Forms can save your firm dozens of hours of time conducting research and preparing documents and templates. We do the work for you. This means a firm can easily access our library of automated government and court forms from areas of law spanning from family, real estate, civil litigation, estates, business, and the list goes on. We also are in the process of developing our library of precedent documents and drafted content, so stay tuned. Have you ever had a court form rejected because one of the fields were missing or filled out incorrectly? Oftentimes, with court or government forms, there can be a lot of room for error when the form is complex or has many fields to fill in. The main purpose of the Leap for Word add-in is to simplify filling out a form by providing the user with a much clearer, straightforward interface where they can go through the sections of a form using a side panel of questions or information fields. The Leap for Word add-in therefore makes automating forms from directly within a document very easy. 
As you know, when you create a matter within LEAP, you'll be asked to provide the information by filling out tables within the matter. In addition to pre-populating this data into your selected form, the LEAP for Word add-in allows you to further automate the other fields that do not come from the LEAP matter. In other words, the LEAP for Word add-in questions are intended to be used where data is not already collected in the matter. When opening a form that has the LEAP for Word add-in function, you will be presented with a side panel which contains a series of questions or requests for information that will populate to that document. Instead of tediously going through the sections of a complicated form, you can use the side panel to fill in the requested information and hit the Update Document button, and the form will populate with the updated information. The Leap for Word add-in is only available for forms in Word format. You will find that the majority of our forms are in Word format, though there are some that we have chosen to keep as PDFs due to certain features of the form that are better suited for PDF format. Currently, not all of our Leap forms have the Leap for Word add-in function integrated yet, but we are adding that feature into more of our forms constantly. The areas of law within LEAP that currently have the LEAP for Word add-in functionality include some of the family law forms and precedent documents, some of the real estate forms and precedent documents, business law forms, and civil litigation forms. Again, our content team continues to work constantly on updating and increasing the number of our LEAP forms and precedents with this function. Thank you for your insights, Jennifer. We look forward to more webinars with the Content Forms team. Now let's dive into the features. First, a quick review of how to enable Leap for Word. The Leap for Word add-in makes it easier than ever to automate forms from directly within a document. When opening a form that is supported, you will be presented with a side panel, which contains a series of questions or requests for information that will populate to the document. When opening a form for the first time, you will be prompted with the following. Click Trust This Add-in, and the Leap for Word add-in will be automatically installed by Microsoft Office on your computer. This process is controlled by Microsoft Office, and these prompts will not display once the Leap for Word add-in is installed. Now let's take a look at three areas of law that have forms with Leap for Word functionality. Our first form is for the real estate matter types, and we are going to demonstrate the final report to purchaser. As a general rule, ensure all information is completed on the matter so LEAP forms can populate the details in your letters and documents. In the Details and Correspondence tab, this can include property details, additional information found in a table layout, such as adjustments and trust ledger details, or lender information. To create a new LEAP form, click the Forms and Precedents icon at the top of your screen. Next, search using the title of the form for quick results. Double-click to open the form in Word. LEAP will automatically open the LEAP for Word question pane on the right side of the screen. Each question you answer will populate the document once you add the details and click Update Document. For our demonstration, I will go ahead and answer a few of the questions. I'll include the instrument number, select registered owner for transferring title, and set the interest rate. You will want to include the answers to all the relevant questions to ensure your document is completed properly. Now click Update Document to see the answers appear in your form. Here's a tip. If you realize some of the information required in the document should have been entered in your matter, use the Bring to Front icon to bring your Leap Matter window to the forefront. You can now update the missing information and click Save when ready. In Word, use the Update icon to update your document. Next, we're going to look at Form 13 Financial Statement for the Family Law Matter Types. Start by searching the Forms and Precedents Library for Financial Statement. Double-click to open the document. You will see the questions in the Leap for Word pane are listed on the right-hand side. Let's complete a few of the details. I'll check the box to add the client's details. Then I'll select Self-Employed 
and check the proof of income box for self-employed individuals. When you're ready, click Update Document. You will see in the Part 1 Income section of the financial statement, LEAP has marked the checkboxes as indicated by the LEAP for Word add-in. Remember to save and close or use the time save and close to record time on the matter for preparing this document. Last but not least, for litigious matters, we will review the Affidavit of Service. As a reminder, always make sure your matter details are up to date to ensure the most efficient document automation. This time, let's look up the form using the court form number. For the Affidavit of Service, we will type 16B. For this demonstration, I will select Personal Service and provide all of the relevant details related to the personal service information. Once again, I will update my document for a quick and easy Affidavit of Service. As a reminder, use the Save and Close to save the form back to your matter. Please be sure to mark your LEAP community page and watch for new features and articles from our teams. Thank you all for joining us today and a special thank you to Jennifer Lee from LEAP's Content Forms team. We look forward to seeing you at our next webinar.